show you real quick how to remove flyaway hairs um, from a picture. Um, so this is from my high school senior session. We have this young lady here. We see some flyaway hairs that we all get. So you're going to come over to your clone tool and you're going to adjust your brush size. See that's a little bit too big. I like a smaller brush here with a larger feather on it because you want it to blend. You don't want hard lines whenever you're trying to remove these flyaway hairs. I'm just going to take this tool and I'm just going to come around the edges of her head. And I'm going to move that to beside um, where her hair is. Just move it in as close as we can. Get that a little closer. Or I could turn the feather down just a little bit. It depends. Okay, and then I'm going to do that just around all of her head. Now this isn't something you're going to want to do to every single picture. Um, in our studio, we do this to photos that we print. If you're, if um, it's just proofs, you don't do this to proofs just because um, you can see the amount of time it takes. It's not something you want to do to just a proof. But I always do, um, you know, say for my senior sessions like I'm doing right here, I would always have um, a sample photo to show them. This is how we're going to remove flyaway hairs to photos that we print. So I can still see a few here. I'm just going to bring this in a little bigger by coming over here and just clicking on 3-1. Actually, that's a little too big here. I'm going to back it down to 2-1. I'm going to drop my brush size down a little bit. See, just like little ones in here. I could get those a little better. Just moving your tool around is kind of the key here. Just get it to where you need it to be to do that. See, I did some bigger ones, but then I'm kind of coming back in and doing some smaller brushes to get a little bit closer. See one up there, We our brush didn't quite get. That's not right. So this tool can be a little complicated too. Sometimes you have to do it above and then move it around. I still see a couple in here I'm not real happy with, so I'm going to just do a small one again and then move it as I need it. Not happy with that. Actually, what we call this in our studio, this is when we get into beauty edits. Um, like I said, it's, this is what we do for things that we're going to print. Some of the stuff we're getting into a blurred background, they would not even realize it was hair, but I kind of know it is. And if it's going to be printed, I just really want it to look nice.
And the little things like this that you can do for the customer, this is a re another reason you don't just want to throw digital copies at them and say, oh, go print them. Because this is stuff that you're not going to do for digital copies. And this is stuff that they might not even realize that you can do unless you sit down with them and kind of show them some examples of, hey, this is a proof versus a beauty edit for a print. Then when they see what you can do for prints, most likely they're going to want to print with you at that point. Everybody likes to look better in a picture. All right, so we got most of the flyaway hairs. I still see a couple at top there I'm going to go grab. Actually, I don't even think most. That's not really a flyaway. That's just kind of the wind taking her hair a little bit, which is okay. I'm okay with that. It's just this right here I see a little bit. I just want to fix up. Remember the key too is just making that bl making it blend. You don't want it to look like we've put a ring around our head to take those flyaways out. So that's what I'm doing here. Just trying to find the spot that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me show you before and after. Okay, there's our after. There's our before. See that huge difference there? So that's how you would remove um, stray hairs from a picture for printing. 